Hello, this is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to write a while do statement to create a loop or to repeat a process on a CNC mill using Fnuc controls. I'll show you in detail how to write the while do statement using common variables and relational operators. So let's first take a look at the common variables and relational operators and what they are. Alright, so the variables that I'm going to be using inside our while do process are the common variables, which are the number 100 through 199. Now, we're going to be assigning a value to these variables inside the program. And the one thing you want to know about common variables, 100 through 199, is when the machine is powered down, it loses its value and is reset to zero or null. And then these common variables are also used together with relational operators to create a conditional expression. Now the way that's done is by the use of these two letters LT, LE, GT or GE. Now the LT stands for less than. LE stands for less than or equal to. GT greater than or GE greater than or equal to. So let's take a look at the program and see how to create one of these conditional expressions inside of a while do statement. Alright, here's our program and we're going to be milling a 2 by 2 inch square using tool number 3 which is a half inch end mill. Uh, you can see at the top of the program we have three variables number 100, number 101 and number 102. Now, number 100 is the first depth of cut, and we got that set at a quarter inch, 0.250. Number 101 is the depth per pass. So each time we complete one depth of cut, we add a quarter of an inch for the next pass. And we're going to do that until we reach a depth of 1 inch 500, which is our 102. All right, so we read on down. The N300 is our sequence number for our operation. Then we have our safety line. We wrap it to Z home position and make our tool change. We turn on the spindle. And then we're going to wrap it to G90, G0, G54, X minus 250, Y.5. So that is the start point of our tool path milling the 2 by 2 inch square. Alright, then we want to make sure that we call up our tool offset using the G43 H3. We wrap it to Z1 inch and we turn on the coolant. Now notice, here's our while do statement. So the way it needs to read is while number 100, which is the first depth of cut, is less or equal to number 102, which is 1.5, so number 100 starting off at 0.250 is less or equal. It satisfies the condition that it is less. So until that number 102, 1.5 inch total depth is satisfied, it will read on to do 1. It's a D letter O 1. Alright, so what happens is when it sees that the conditional statement has not been satisfied yet, it looks at the geometry between the word do one and down below here end one. Now the first move we're going to make is a feed move of G1 Z minus number 100. Now remember number 100 at the top of the program was loaded with a quarter inch. So Putting the minus in front of the number 100 means that we're going to feed to G1, Z minus 0.250. Then we do a G1, 0.250 with a feed rate of 20 and we walk around our square. Now when we're done right here at the G1, Y.3, we're going to wrap it to a clearance plane of Z.250 or a quarter inch. Then we're going to wrap it back to the start position, which is equal to this line up here. I've, I've purposely colored them yellow so that you can easily identify. And then once we're back to our start point, 
we're going to use the variables to get ready for the next depth of cut so we take the current depth of cut which is number 100 and we say equals number 100 plus number 101 so if we look at the top of the program 101 is 0.250 so number 100 plus number 101 is current 250 plus an additional 250 so now that's a half inch so it reads an end one it jumps back to the while do statement and now number 100 is 0.500 which is still less or equal to number 102 remember 102 is the total depth so because that statement has not been satisfied again it moves to the do one and does all the geometry between do one and end one so now the g1 z minus number 100 is actually saying g1 z minus 0.500 so again we mill around our square we jump up the z250 we wrap it back to our start point very important and then we do the next depth of cut calculation number 100 equals number 100 plus number 101 so the current number 100 is at 0.500 plus 0.250 so now number 100 is at 0.750 so we read end one it jumps back to the while do statement number 100 now reads 0.750 which is still less than the number 102 which is 1.5 so again it just keeps looping until number 100 is 1.5 now when it reaches 1.5 it still meets the equal condition and therefore it will continue to do one and continue the next depth of cut but of course now when we add a quarter inch to that 1.5 depth cut now the conditional statement will kick out and it will read the next line below end one so now we wrap it to z one inch turn off the spindle turn off the coolant home out the z-axis home out the y-axis and we get the machine back in a g90 mode now let's take a look at this program in action in G Wizard Editor. All right, so here we're looking at our program in G Wizard Editor, and what I'd like you to notice is when the cursor is moving back and forth between the while do statement and the end one. So let's run it, and also take a look at the Z value as it changes depth right in this area. So you can see we're at minus 250, minus 0.5, minus 0.750, minus 1 inch, minus 1 inch 250, and minus 1 inch 5. So it should complete now, kicks out, and ends the program. Alright, so now it's real easy to change the depth of cut from 0.250 to 0.5 so I'm going to make this 0.500 and then depth of cut also 0.500 and you can already see a preview it is now dividing it up into three equal passes of 500 depth per cut so let's watch that All right, so we're at minus 0.5, minus one inch, minus inch and a half, and then it should kick out. All right, well, I'm gonna leave a copy of this program in the description down below the video. So be careful when you prove it out. Make sure that the math at the top of the program works out. Make sure that the depth cut and first pass will add up to the 1.5 or whatever total depth you want again that is something you can change also let's say that you wanted to change this to a depth of two inches then you can see it automatically updates to taking four passes and again if you change the depth of cut to let's say 100 thousandths 
first pass and depth of pass, you can see it automatically gives you a preview of how many cuts it will take. But that's how fast it will change your program and depth of cuts. A very handy tool, highly recommend it. And once you learn how to use it, you will use it a lot in your programs. All right, that's it for Wild Do Statements in this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.